What's up guys? Just got my oxygenation kit in the mail and I figured I'd do a quick video just to kind of talk about the pros and cons of uh, an oxygenation kit, why you should oxygenate your beer, when you should oxygenate it, uh, just a couple of facts that I've learned online and then I show just a quick demonstration of what it looks like whenever you oxygenate your beer and what to expect. So first of all, you know, why do you oxygenate your beer? Well, the, the main reason is that your yeast, they need oxygen whenever they're in the first phase of fermentation, which is like the reproduction phase. So they're going to be able to expand, be able to do the task at hand, which is making your wort into beer. Um, so they need oxygen, but now your wort that you boiled for 60 minutes or 90 minutes, it doesn't have any more oxygen because when you boiled it, boiled it all of that oxygen came out. So to put that oxygen back inside of your wort, um, you guys, probably like me, you know, you're shaking up your carboy because you heard shaking is a real good idea to get the yeast swirling around and, and uh, to get some of the oxygen inside of your beer. But the problem is the oxygen that we breathe only has like eight parts per million of oxygen in it. Fancy way of saying that there isn't very much oxygen in the air that we breathe. So if this has eight parts of per million of air inside of it, when you shake it around, the most you can get inside of your wort is that eight parts per million. Well, how much... How much work does how much oxygen does your work need? Well, from doing some research, I learned that your work wants to have, or your yeast rather, would like to have at least 10 to 14 parts per million. So to achieve that, you would need to oxygenate your beer. So, how much does it cost to get an oxygenation kit? Go online, you, or go to your local homebrew store. Or, you know, maybe you can find a used one. I don't know. Some of you guys are gonna try to make one yourself. I'd suggest just buying the kit. It costs 50 bucks. It comes with a uh, like a regulator, it's more of an adapter because it doesn't regulate, it just on and off. Um, a quarter inch tubing, a little hose clamp, and, and the kit that I got also come with the diffusion stone, which was considerably cheaper than what my local homebrew store was trying to sell me one for, so I did, I did get one online. Um, and then the, um, the disposable O2 bottle, I bought that at Home Depot, you can get those for like 10 bucks. So for, for, so for 60 bucks, you can oxygenate your beer. So what are some other reasons you'd want to oxygenate your beer? Well, whenever you put the oxygen in there, like I said, the yeast needs that oxygen, so you're not going to have any lag time or minimal lag time, which is the time that it takes from the time you put your yeast in to your work to when it starts to become a vigorous fermentation. So with less lag time, that means you're going to have a faster, more aggressive fermentation, which means your beer will be ready to drink sooner, which is always good, and you're not going to have any of those off flavors. Um, from the yeast not being able to reproduce. And then you'll also, which is very important, another good thing that you'll get is better attenuation. So any kind of beer, that'll be good that you get good attenuation or reach your final gravity. But if you're making a big beer, like a big Belgian triple or, or, or quad, that's gonna be, or barley one, um, you're gonna be up in the 1080s, 1090s, you know, you're gonna need to have good attenuation. And just putting in one vial of yeast with no oxygenation kit, you are not going to be able to make a big beer. You know, you're going to have to make a starter and you're going to um, have to oxygenate your beer. Everything's going to have to be right or you can end up with a beer that doesn't, that kind of stalls in the middle. Um, so what up, you'll end up having is like a sweet beer because it didn't ever reach its final gravity. So this is another part of the equation, making awesome beer, um, is oxygenating your beer. Um, Another thing that I learned um, that come with this kit was saying that if you're going to make one of those big Belgians, like a 1080 plus type beer, gravity wise, you can oxygenate your beer right after it's cooled down, but after you um, pitch your yeast, it says 12 hours later you can oxygenate it again. So that just even helps it reproduce even more. So that's another little tidbit. Another thing that you're going to make sure if you're going to oxygenate your beer, guys, is uh, Make sure that you've cooled your, your wort down to at least 80, which I know you're probably going down to 70 to, to pitching temperatures, but you want to make sure you do it at least to 80 because if you go um, oxygenate in your beer before it's down to 80 degrees, you can actually oxidize your beer, which is going to give it like a stale taste. So as far as the diffusion stone, the particular kit I got came with the stone. You're going to want to get that stone and you're going to want to boil it for 15 minutes. And what you're also going to want to do is not touch the stone with your bare fingers because the oils that are inside your hands can get inside the pores of the stone. So get some tongs, whatever, put it inside the water, let it boil for 15 minutes so it'll be sanitized. And then all you're going to want to do is hook up your, hook up your kit. So let me get the kit and we'll show you.
I already boiled mine, everything's sanitized. This is basically what the stone looks like. It's just, you couldn't tell that it's stone, but there's, you know, millions of, of uh, little holes inside there. And here's the kit. This is what you're going to be wanting to look at. As far as the O2 goes, this is the bottle that you're going to want to buy at the Home Depot. So all I'm going to do is stick it near the bottom of the um, carboy, and I'm going to put it in there for 60 seconds is what they recommend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. I'm going to time, put the timer on my microwave for a minute. Put it near the bottom. Again, guys, this has all been sanitized and cooled. And it says it really doesn't want big bubbles. It wants it more like smaller diff diffused type bubbles. It wants more of a sizzle is kind of what they said. We'll see if I can't get a better picture for you guys to be able to see that. You really don't want to have like a rolling, it's not like a boil, it's more of like a simmer. So there's the stone. Can't hardly see it, there it is right there. Like I said, about 60 seconds, so this is the oxygen that we're adding to the beer. All I gotta do now after this is, uh, is pitch my yeast and we'll be good to go. So if you guys got any comments, I'm sure there's been guys out there uh, making beer, awesome beer, longer than I have. You guys have any comments or you guys want to add to this video, please leave a comment. Or if you guys like the video, go ahead and uh, press like. I'd appreciate it. And uh, if I miss anything, you guys let me know in the comments. We'll catch you later. See ya.